okay, 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 okay. Uh, never was the one that wasn't able. Hustle till I made a bigger payroll. Seems like money in the piles, what I pray for. So I get it how I live and try to lay low. Tell me why they hate though. Yeah. I'd rather ride in the wind and let a hair blow. Uh, good vibes, never walking with my hair low. Uh, on a high, so we put it in the air, bro. Listen. Gotta shine, yeah, you looking at a red glow They got the bag, that's the reason why I'm here for uh, From the corner, now you making what you wanna Used to be cold, now the flow hotter than the sauna uh, No sleep till we running every summer like King right now was a king in my other life Yeah, that's another life Looking back years later like we won at life Yeah um, happy New Year. So um, just to kind of jump back into the small talk, we were talking about um, our New Year's Eve and our New Year's Day. And you were telling us about what you did on New Year's Eve. Tell us a little bit about that while we wait on people to pop back in. So sorry we're having technical difficulties this afternoon. Um, went to a comedy show um, and spent, you know, some um, like, I'm glad Miss Yvette is on right now so I can say it again. The comedy show was great, but like I said, the most important thing is who I was with at the comedy show. It ain't what you go see or what you go do. It's who you with, Miss Yvette, right? Right, Miss Yvette? Don't start with him today. Miss Yvette, guy, that's why they 20 years plus in. Okay. Get Ms. 20 years plus in, and then we start talking about that. Okay. because Live with me up under that bridge. Say it okay. That's right. She knows it. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Missy Ben, I ain't going under that bridge now. I already no. told y'all. Hey, Kimberly Murphy. I already told y'all I'm not going under that bridge. It's to my period. Period. <laughs> <laughs> well, New Year's Eve was fabulous for us. We had a great time. Uh, like he said, we went to the comedy show. Then we went and hung out with friends. She's talking about under the bridge. I'm going to be around the corner from the bridge yeah, praying up? for peace. <laughs> Um, we had a, a really, really, really good, um, New Year's Eve. And then we, uh, went with friends after the comedy show and hung out with friends and family and our kids. So it was really good, much needed. Got to drop in and do a live really quick with you guys for those yep. that pops in. Um, <laughs> so we were definitely happy to spend that, that quality time with everybody on New Year's Eve. Hopefully whatever we were doing at New Year's Eve, we'll be doing, um, all year as they say. Now let me ask you a question that has nothing to do with our topics today. And I want you guys to chime in that are there because you guys, I don't know. Are you a superstitious person? Like, there's so many things that people talk about at New Year's Eve that, okay, I'm like, well, was I doing this last year? And was I prosperous or not because of it? Or did I do this or did I not? Are you superstitious? Do you believe in these superstitions? You know, I just do what family do. Family been doing for years. So, oh, well, just do it. Just like. But do you believe in it? Like, I do mean, you believe in that? I'm here. So, yes, I believe in it. So if they say that you need I made plenty of money last year, believe in it. Okay, so they're saying Hey, good luck last year, believe but in it. But how do you know you had good luck? I'm here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So um you're saying uh good luck, so you definitely believe in superstition. Yeah. All right, hey Amanda, how's it going? Yeah. Okay, well for me, I guess I believe, like you said, because it's been something that we've been doing um for years ever since we've met and then before that my family was always doing it what's up william so so why do you do it then i mean i don't know why it's do you crazy do it? because i'm like damn i'm trying to think back like last year what was i doing i did eat the green so that's why money was good okay uh i didn't put my purse on the floor at all and every time my purse hit the floor you moved it no i'm not into i was raised doing family traditional family things yeah that's it it's yeah just so, I mean, so, but for me, it's like, it, Missy Bet, it's been like a big deal. Like, every year, don't clean up on um, New Year's Day or you, but, but or no sweep, or you're going to sweep the good fortune right out of your house. But this is what they say, though, right? And then people say that, oh, well, that's just crazy. But guess what they always say? You know, you speak good things in existence, and it happens, right? That's okay. a superstition. Same thing with eating the greens. I don't think that's Why not? Delicious. I think that's just you. Okay, what's and the difference? Green? I think that's just you putting into the universe what it is that you want and your affirmations and what you're going after. Same thing. I don't know about that. What's the difference? <laughs> you speak it into that. existence. <laughs> what's the difference? You eat the greens, you're gonna be all right. You speak it into existence. But no, because, there's, but there are other things like we said: don't sweep or clean up. Yeah. Because they say you'll sweep the good fortune right out of your house. Just like we would, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna touch on it. 
I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna spoil okay. it. We ain't gonna spoil okay. it. New Year, new me, bro. Okay, end. okay, 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 okay. We we'll won't touch you on it. All right, all right. So I just had a question. I was just curious for people who um believe in superstitions, um activity and behavior. Like, are you really into the superstitious things that um people are saying every year that you need to do at New Year's Day or at New Year's Eve, or things that you shouldn't be doing? So yes. Um, now other than that, any hot topics or anything that we need to address while we get some people to pop on in with us? Mm -hmm. Nothing hot? Mm -hmm. Well, I do have one thing that I want to pop on and this is, you know, something I just got today. The inauguration. Oh, yeah. The inauguration is supposed to, um, limit the amount of people that will be allowed to attend and it's supposed to be a virtual inauguration this year. Mm -hmm. So, again, if anybody knows accurate information on that, please come and drop that comment in there because I'm only speaking off of, you know, one post. I didn't go and do any research to see if this was accurate or anything like that. So, um, please just check on that and let me know if I'm correct. But, yeah, so that was the current event that I um, ran into today. Hey, Michelle, what's up? And I figured that, you know, a lot of people are interested in the inauguration this year because of the AKA um, mm -hmm. and Biden and, you know, just everything swarming around that. So I figured it'd be, you know, something that people were probably wanting to attend, you know, this year. I know the kids were going to go this year. Well, Hunter was going, so I don't know what's going to come out of that yeah. um, now that, you know, all of this is going on. You heard something as well. Yeah, I heard Six. something. Yeah, I heard the same thing. You heard the same thing, yeah. So I don't know if it's going to happen, you know, or not. I know uh, my son and my family were going. Um, some people are going. Yeah, yeah. So um, I'll, I'll see how that plays out. But anyway, let's jump right into this thing, y'all. Let's jump on in. All right, so... Over our little um, week of New Year's Eve and, you know, from the last time we were before you guys, we've had some conversations. Mm -hmm. And in having these conversations, it leads us back to the age-old question. Why are men scared of marriage? All right? So, I'm going to start with this particular topic because I feel like it's like a segue into everything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me while I sip on my white. Okay? Mm. I really feel like it's a segue into everything else. So, um, I'm going to ask you the question before I dig into this question. Okay. Why are men scared of marriage? In your opinion. Um, Like we said, men, we talked about it. I've talked about it with other men and why some of them say, you know, they don't want to get married. They don't They don't want to give up their player status. They What's up, Amelia? Yeah. They are settling. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, most of them are because it's... But are you saying most of them are settling? No, most of oh. them are thinking that. Oh, okay. They don't want to okay. settle, you know, with just No one. good role models. Now, wait a minute. Ooh. I said, oh. Good job. Oh. Oh. Because that is so true. But go ahead and finish your thought. Yeah. We'll, we'll tackle but, Amelia and Miss But Miss, But, Miss Yvette, why you said that, that is so true. But then again, that is not the same thing because I know somebody who has a, a lot of role models that's around and should get married, but he still hasn't got married. I ain't gonna call no names. Me and you will talk about it later. Okay. See. <laughs> oh, like they didn't hear that. <laughs> you don't whisper. <laughs> Whatever. <Well, no>. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so. But that is so yeah, true. Give me one and, reason And some why. of them are still playing games. Okay, give me They want one. this woman. They want that woman. They want this. You know, me, unfortunately, unfortunately, I got the greatest of all time. Wait, because I was going to say, excuse me, you said unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I got the greatest of all time. What you got? I got compassion. I got intimacy. I got everything in my wife. Okay. She danced for me. She named it. Most of them are trying to figure out or or because this one won't do this, they go over there and get that from that one. Okay. Okay. Uh, this one that's gonna do go this. into what's going on, Tamika. That's gonna go into another topic that yes. we're about to segue yeah. into. Period. Um, yes. <laughs> okay, so you're saying that men, first of all, let's. Okay, I got what you said. Let me hit Miss um, Miss um, Vivet. She said no good role models. Now I can agree with that, and the reason why I agree with what she's saying is the conversation that you and I have had often. We run across men who are so afraid to really be them themselves authentically yes. with their woman. Because for instance, wait, for instance, you want to open the door or hug and kiss on your woman or buckle your woman's shoe to another guy, 
He may be afraid of what that guy may think of him by doing that. By I don't give a shit. I'm not talking about you. Yeah. I'm talking about guys. You may not think of those things in, in a way that would be less than activity of a man. But some of these guys may look at it and say, you know what? That's some punk shit. I'm not going to do that. I'm, yeah. I'm not going to do that type of stuff because that's going to make me look weak. Yeah. So I really feel like, hey, Monique, what's up? What's up? What's up? I really feel like that's a lot of it as well because men are so fearful what other men will say or mm -hmm. think of them. So I really feel like that's a lot of reason why men are scared to get married too in the fear of what will be said and what will be thought of them. Mm -hmm. If they do it, if they hang up that player card. Yeah, they hang up that player okay, card. Okay, and yeah. then... Um, they, and they are. A lot of them. Oh. And I know they talk about me. I'm here and accounted for, hey, <laughs> boy, we got I, you, check. <laughs> and I know all of them, a lot of them talk about me. Oh, man, she got a whoop. And I surely <laughs> am. Because you know why? The ones that saying that, you know why? They got some woman that they looking at right now in their house saying, I wish this motherfucker leave. <laughs> well, damn. Not leave. I wish you, I wish you just leave. But you don't want to get rid of it because that's your little little piece right there that you okay. got. That's you know, all the time. That's you all the time. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, and she do good things here, but she don't do good things here. So you, okay. you got to keep her. Okay. Because if she leaves, now you ain't getting nothing. So you're saying, like women often say, I need two or three different women to do what? Yeah. So that's what you're saying? Uh, is it not the truth? I'm not. Three or four guys, because you do everything I need. Exactly, I don't so need I'm it. So I'm just yeah, trying I, to figure it out. What I don't need it. Out here into yeah, the atmosphere. But I'm talking about, we're talking about what other people Okay, think. wait. Amelia said they have found their 10, hold on, but may think they have not. Men love women. We have a lot of great qualities, but they want different pieces from different women sometimes, and that can make it challenging to just want one. Mm. Okay, let's, let's tackle what Amelia just said. So when you're saying they want different pieces, I'm guessing that means different pieces of ass or different pieces of this woman. Or the puzzle, yes. Okay, okay. So different pieces of women. Yeah. All right. So yeah. basically, you come to the table with money. You come to the table with good sex. You come to the table with being fun. Yeah, yeah. Okay. exactly. Okay, and so as a result of having all these different pieces, it's fun to have multiple women. So men are afraid to give all that up. Yes. You're saying that I would rather deal with being single and living my best life, so to speak, than to go ahead and commit to a relationship yep. in fear of giving all that up. Yep. So a lot of it is fear. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. So a lot of it, I would say, would be fear. Yes, it is. Men are afraid yep. to get married and, because it's the unknown. Yep. It's the unknown. All right? Um, now that I don't now that I don't agree with multiple men with different women, so you need to find that one person that does it all. All the above. Absolutely. But and I agree with you, Monique. I agree. But I'm just going to be realistic. And not, all of us are not perfect. We, yeah, and we're and it's like this. You, you're you not going to get all. I, let, me, let me put it on the line right here, right now, about, me, about you. I really feel like if I have to put you up against my list of things that I want, there is nothing on that side of the list that I feel like I'm lacking. Yeah. For instance... I feel like I'm super spoiled. So the, the little everyday things that a lot of people would want done, that's done. Caring for the kids, that's done. Um, the the doors, the, the carrying, all that's done. The intimacy that I'm looking for, done. And when I feel like it's something that I am missing, I know how to come to you, talk about it, and we can go ahead and pull that back together. So I don't feel like it's it's a lot to be to be missed but some people will look at it and, and you know why i think too because some people are not willing to compromise they're not they're not willing to compromise and so because, to that guy it's like damn because i'm missing that ass be, over yeah, there yeah <laughs> because if you look in the mirror nigga you could have good money you could have good this or whatever the case may be but guess what your feet ugly so she may want somebody with pretty feet so you ain't perfect, motherfucker. Let me see my feet. Look. <laughs> my toes, look, they polish and Watch pretty. Out. <laughs> but see so. Oh, no. goodness. She said. Just like Eddie Murphy on Boomerang. Yeah, she was gorgeous. She was gorgeous. But perfect her, body. But, but her feet was fucked up, though. In, in his defense. Don't come up in here with that shit. I'm just saying. She she one of them people, y'all, that she was trying to find it all in one person. But or, I did. Or, yeah, it, it took you forever. It did. Hell, I married you at 20 what? Five? It didn't take me forever. But you were looking for us at 17. <laughs> Shit, that ain't you. You looking for us. I, I wasn't looking. I was smart and living <laughs> yeah. my best life. And, 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 but and that's you a, just That's appeared. what the single like guy a, said. Like a that's knight what, in shining armor. That's what the single guy said. I'm just living my best life. Right. But again, hey, Donetta, 
hey Veronica, what's up girl but what we're trying to come to the idea or the conclusion is why are men afraid like what is the fear i i think it's complacency of women I yeah, feel they don't like, want to be with the same woman everybody oh that means no, you got to wake no. up no i feel like it's complacency of women meaning like you would tell me the stuff you was doing in the beginning you're not doing now yep but like i explained on, to him <laughs> yes but like i explained to him when we met we were in iraq we didn't have any kids to take care of uh, uh we could fuck all night with our feet up against the wall we didn't have anywhere other than work to be and we could sleep there I mean, the lifestyle was totally different. So it took some getting used to, you know what I'm saying, as far as certain things. So I can understand that, you know. And she was right, right? We was in our right, right? But when she came home, when she came home, she wanted a certain standard. She wanted me to keep that standard, regardless if we was in our right or not. Because I could have used the excuse of, well, we was in our right. But you didn't want that, right? But they I, I, No, I, you didn't want that. Answer the question. I yes didn't want no. it. I didn't want it. I didn't want there it. you go. You didn't want that same lifestyle in that right. You okay. wanted different because we were no, back no, in the no. States. No, no. I wanted the same lifestyle, but I just knew that we weren't going to be able to obtain that lifestyle. And I'm not saying lifestyle. Use a different word because we had the same lifestyle somewhat. Okay. We didn't do the same things because I, what we had to do on a daily basis had changed. Okay. We had our kids here that we had to take care of. Okay, so here we go. Uh, Monique, she said... Um, I think it's their past relationships that put them in a situation where they don't want to be committed to a relationship. Okay, I like that. So the past, so they're fearful of old things. Old things. True. So, so wait. So from a person who was married before, did you think that stopped you from moving on again? No. At, in, well, you said that in the you beginning. Didn't yeah, get yeah. Oh yeah, I didn't want to get married, of course, because okay. I was going. And I and I tell you, me and you talk about this all the time. Uh -huh. I meet them and hell, if once I start screwing them, hey, that's. That's all I want from you. I don't want nothing else. But when I met you, it was a different story. We talked first. Okay. The mother, the mother women. women. I didn't talk. Okay. We, so it was just sex. Straight to the point. So you was all about sex. Yeah. That's all you wanted. That's it. That's it. Yeah. But until we talked. <laughs> okay. Okay. And so, then it changed. Okay. okay. Then now I feel a whole lot different. I look at things a whole lot different. Okay. True. True. All right. Um. What's up, Amy? I didn't even see you pop on, girl. She said, "Women are always looking. We are minding our own business. Then here y'all come. <laughs> here they come with the BS, right?" Here they come with the BS. Uh huh. Amelia said, "Well, when women, oh, uh, well, when women get comfortable, the new one isn't true. Mm. True, true. Um, and and and, and I'm gonna say this and just be very transparent. I don't know a woman alive that has been married for umpteen years that has never got complacent or comfortable in her marriage and had to shake her shit back up." We've all been there. And if you're saying you have never been there, you're lying. <laughs> Everybody has been there because life takes us sometimes rapidly. And it's not that you do it intentionally. If you had, like, for us, like, we had kids small. Like, Hunter was small. Then Carson and not Cooper. But when it came to them, they were in Little League sports. Every Saturday morning, we were at a football field. Every weekday, we were at a practice. And we had to rush home, do the homework, do food, do all this, get in the bed. For work, because we own a business, so it was even more stressful for us, yep. and do this shit all over again. Yeah, so yeah. I really feel like you, we all have fell, fallen into that complacency at some point or another, and we had to shake our shit back yes. up. Um, so it only comes with time. Um, uh, Monique, I need to, I need to under shake shit up often. <laughs> I sure I shake shit up often. Absolutely. What's up? What's up, Black? What's up? So. And I feel like we have to do that because we do get busy and consumed with our lives and what we do. Yes. So you got to shake it up. Yes. That's like case in point. I felt like, you know, sex for me, I like it to be adventurous. Yes. I like for sex to be something different. So that one day I said, you know what? Let's do a photo shoot. <laughs> so I put on the lingerie, which I mentioned this before. Put on the lingerie and had him come and take pictures. I was a photographer. Did a whole goddamn photo shoot, boudoir, half naked, whatever. And it led into something else, which was very enticing and appealing to him because it was something that we had never done. I enjoyed it. We had music playing. It was like a whole little kinky sex porno movie without the extra porn. So I really felt like it was something good. She said, didn't finish typing. Oh, okay. <laughs> so explain to me what you were saying, Monique, because I want to make sure I get it. By the way, y'all, she told me two outfits. She only gave me one. Well, damn, we can do it again. Next time, <laughs> I'm going to get real kinky. Mm. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to cover them eyes and you know we're going to get 50 shades of blacker or grayer or whatever. What is it? 50 shades of gray? We're going to get blacker. Okay? We're going to get blacker in that moment. <laughs> in the dark. Okay? But yeah, so 
I, men are afraid because women tend to get complacent. And I'm ta and and ladies, I'm not talking about us, but I'm taking the but, but the brunt end of this because we're talking about why men don't want to do something, and a lot of times it's because of what we fail to do or don't want to do. And the, and the same thing with with men. You can't get in a relationship talking about. Well, oh, no, but it's not a that question. Yeah, is not I about, Yeah, I know. It's but, about men yeah, and what they're scared of. Yeah, but you can't get in. The, you can't be in a relationship. You know what I mean? And say, oh, well, she got complacent. Well, what was you doing? Now that's true. You can't. If that's the, that's what the single guy need to ask the married guy. Oh well, she couldn't give me this. Well, what did you do? And why is it always the woman stop giving them sex? I don't know. What is that? And so you, we talked about the trailer. I'm gonna try because I ain't been there. I ain't, I ain't been there. Can where, you it? I ain't been there where I said I no longer want to have sex with my husband. I ain't been there, mm -hmm. so I don't really know what a woman is thinking when she says I'm not. Because like when I hear stories and they say I ain't had sex in six Ooh, months. She said edible paint. What that say? Hey, send that, send that over to the cream. Oh yes. Mm. <laughs> I mean, because I can't understand where you, how do you coexist with someone for six months, a year, two years, and you're not having sex with them? Oh, man, that's horrible. How does that work? We wouldn't. We wouldn't. Yeah. yeah. Because you're a very sexual being, and I'm a like, I want it when I want it be. Yeah, she talking about that's not the case with me. I want it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, until you with somebody, every guy, well, that's, oh, I thought that was Amy. That's well, Amelia. That's Amelia. Amelia. God damn, girl. <laughs> Mad at you, boo? Do you? <laughs> but but again, uh, she 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 talking about why is that they don't want to. She may not like him anymore. Wait, what? Where we at? Um, t uh, uh, Amy Christian. She said she may not like him anymore. What? To, what was that? The, what you said about sex? Why? Why is it somebody been with somebody six months a year and no? I, no, I don't think it's a. Do you do you think it's a not like anymore or do you think it's a control thing? Boom. Because 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 women control. We control. We control that. Yes. So do you think it's what do you think it is, ladies, guys? What but, do you think? But she says she may not like him, so she may not like him. Okay, so that's one thing. Yep, yeah, and, and and most of the time in the marriage, she may not like him, but guess what? It's comfortable for her. Uh, she get her bills paid, uh, her house taken care of. God damn it! You know what I mean? Okay. The kids taken care of. Okay. You, you can't divorce because it's not economically satisfactory right now. Okay. And, and, okay, and, Amy. Yep. Yeah, and she probably know that he's best with somebody else and you ain't worried about it. Oh, see, I, I'm a different type of being when it comes to I ain't worried about it because I'm worried about it. It's going to be a whole goddamn problem. That's the part I don't understand when women make that statement. What statement, Monique? What you said. Oh, but see, you got to drop all that because I be saying so much I be done forgot. Tiff, what's up, girl? Here we go. She said, shit, if she stressed out and worried about how they think eat who wanna hump? <laughs> oh, how to eat? Eat who wanna yeah. hump? Yeah. Oh my God, Tim, the language. Oh my God, what's up, Tina? Go, go, go eat. eat. Okay, go, go eat. eat. Okay, I feel like that's mental when women stop having sex. Oh, mm -hmm. hey, um, black, elaborate on that. What do you mean? Do you? I, I need to understand. Uh, mm. You give a man's perspective on what Black just said because I like that. What Tiff was just saying. What Tiff was just saying. She said it. Now, everybody wants to buy by the rules when it comes to a certain thing, especially women. You want you want to you want to be the rule maker and then break it at the same time. It's mine. Wedding vows. Okay. It says death to a part, sickness to hell. You should love that person regardless. So you say so never you, get a divorce. No, 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 no. Okay. You worried about some food. All right, then give me some of this good money, and then I'll go out and get some goddamn food. Okay, okay. I, so it made me so, my so, brain. So you can think better. Yeah, but, say, you, but, but so it helps you think. Yeah, it helps me think. It's like drugs, goddamn it. I smoke me a little bit, and I'm ready. Okay, so but I ain't never smoked none, so I don't know, okay, right? But you'd have put it down, yeah, so you yeah, know exactly, that helps exactly. you think. Oh my god. <laughs> I cannot. But seriously, I talk. need to understand that what he said because I really like that. I need to know where he's going. But that's a mental, mental thing. No, he's you, saying it's mental with women. Yeah, see, I feel like that's mental. It but is. I need to understand what it, the, the, the what Tim said about it. Oh, she she's in her mind. That's oh, dang, how a we woman's gonna, sex drive is typically tied to how her we gonna, emotional state. No, 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 not that. The, the one she said about how mm -hmm. you're thinking about. Dang, the lights gonna be off tomorrow. Right, and see that. Yeah. Okay. Ah, that's what you're ah. talking about. Life's gonna be all tomorrow. Okay. Oh, I so, can't do this. But 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 let's talk. Guess what, y'all? Yep. How do how, how do I fuck you in the dark? Let me tell you. Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. How do I do that? Let me, let me tell you why. Cause guess what? If you don't have sex, it doesn't matter. 
the light's still gonna be off. So it don't even matter. So guess so what? You're saying you so guess what? You no, no, have... no. I ain't saying force nothing. Give me some I, ideas. I'm giving you, I need to I'm giving you the, the real about it. You love this man. You love each other, right? You're gonna love each other regardless. So I ain't saying just go do it. Yeah, think about it. But since you put your mind together and see, well, how are we gonna come up with this plan? Can we come up with this? All right, tomorrow this is what we are gonna do. Cause guess what? Guess, guess, Cause guess what? If you don't have sex, if you do have sex, you flip a coin. If you didn't come up with your plan, and if, you, if your plan didn't work, guess what? The light's still gonna be off. So guess what? It doesn't even matter. So you 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 had sex. It didn't. You it, the lights off. You had you, you didn't have sex. The lights off. But see, I have to back up. I have to back up on what Tiff said because I'm feeling what she said. Yeah. That's true. If we are stressed about other shit, and I know me to be, I know that to be me. I cannot have sex with you and I know I'm going to be in the dark tomorrow. That's difficult for me because I'm thinking about everything else. Shit, this is the last time kids. I, this is the last time we're going to be in the light in the sex. <laughs> we might as well go ahead and get it in. But yeah, you tomorrow we're going to be in the dark. We're going to be in the dark. But we can have sex to candlelight. Yep, right that, now we need to fucking think. And you need not be focused on sex only when we got this big thing dilemma that we're dealing with. So I got so I'm with you on that tip, and he's saying mental. I, I mean, I get it. I'm just trying to figure out. It could be both. Um, but Monica, I need to understand. What's up? What's up, Anthony? What's up, Ron? Amy said, if a woman holds out, there is a reason, unless there's a mental or health issue. What's up? What's up, Sean? Every uh, I, I agree with I agree with with Amy Christian. If a woman holds out. For something, it's something wrong. If it ain't nothing wrong with you, no health issues, no mental problem, whatever, I don't think you should do that. So if, you, if you if you're holding out and ain't nothing wrong, that means you don't want to be with that person. Okay. That's what I feel. Okay. If you're trying to give me you're some no booze one day out of the week, that means that you're not into that person. Period. Okay. Okay. So one day is not enough. Everything he does. Oh, Amelia says everything he does makes me want him he could just come home at a uh, good hour kids homework done he's working literally anything he woke up and didn't leave me with the kids i want more <laughs> <laughs> well he better get him an extra dick because baby you gonna wear him to the left honey right amy i was thinking the same thing okay so um black you went okay i understand now where you're coming from black when you say that what's up paul what's uh, Amelia said, I'm with Donald. Sex helps me think straight to deal with any issues or problems. This is a stress reliever. But that's just you or that's just him. What if your spouse does not operate that way? And that's what I be trying to say. Like for him and like for you, sex is a reliever. It frees your brain. For me, that clouds my judgment and I can't focus. So for me, that's a problem. Like, I don't want to have sex and I know, um, what's the name of them? Set up for finna come here tomorrow and shut my shit off. Like, I'm, I'm not focused. It's, uh, and Tiff said, especially with children to care for. Exactly. So it's like, I think, I'm thinking. Everyone handles stress different. That and they do. And they do. And that's why I always used to tell you, whenever we would get into a bind, don't be upset with me because I'm not sexually into having sex at that moment. I have other things on my mind that we need to take care of. And that's how I was thinking. I, not saying that you were okay with that, but for me, at that time when things were hot and heavy for us and funds were low, my mind was on taking care of business. I got you. And I understand that. But this is the thing. If we ain't going out to the bank and going to borrow money at 9 o'clock at night, what are we going to do? It doesn't matter. It's what still, are you, it's you, still you're, here. You're thinking, you're it's still here. You What's be, up, Mary girl? You can be up all night long. And then when you get up in the morning, guess what? Now you got two people frustrated. Hell, at least... At well, least, well, your at frustration least, is a sexual frustration. Yeah, what, what, oh, well. <laughs> but, but, this is, but this is the thing, though. At least now you got one clear mind because your mind still ain't clear because you still... Stressing. Oh, Jesus. Here okay, we go. Black He's said you should know what you're dealing with when dating someone. When dating someone or that change when you get married. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, Anthony said, I don't operate that way. Uh, what way is that, Anthony? Uh, Monique said, that's going to be a hot, sweaty mess. No AC. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, shit. No, that a hot, sweaty mess is an understatement. But again, we're discussing why men don't want to get married. Yeah. Why men don't want to get married. So we've tackled a few different things. <laughs> Sex, obviously, one of them. They feel like the complacency in a woman, you know, would affect um, what they're used to, what the freedom that they once had as a single guy. They feel like now, if I get married and I'm only with one woman, I'm giving up that spontaneous sex that I once had. But I feel like you can still replicate spontaneous sex with your with your wife. Yeah. You just have to put yourself in that 
Um, and I still uh, like you can have sex when the lights gonna be off tomorrow. Whatever. <laughs> uh, shit. And I ain't saying that you can't. Let me back up. I'm not saying that you can't have sex. All I'm saying is be compassionate to your spouse who may not be feeling into a sexual encounter because of what's going on. I think it's unfair to be angry if that person does not want to at that moment because of what's happening. That's all I'm saying. That's, that, that's all I'm saying. Um, what's up, Jessica? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, whoa. Here, um, here we go. Monique said, I agree with you to figure out what y'all gonna do about the problem. Absolutely. He's like you, LaCreme. When he's stressed, he doesn't want sex at all. Absolutely. I can't. I can't. My pussy not gonna get wet. It just ain't gonna work. I can't. I just can't. Um, just logged in because I missed my jinx. Oh, now let me catch up on what y'all talking about. We're talking about married. Why men don't want to get married? Hmm. Is it fear of giving up, you know, all that outside sex that they would get? Fear of the extra. So you you fearful of all the sex that you be giving up? No, I ain't talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> She's drinking now. And nah. Y'all notice I ain't the one to drink nah. today. Uh -uh. You, she asked me why. Mary she said why. Home. He in here with the mess. Yeah, she said, well, don't ask me no questions. I'm telling you what men think. Okay. It's yeah. going to, I ain't talking about men. I, I talk about you. Yeah. You said what men think. Okay. <laughs> why um, men? Not why Donald. Donald married. <laughs> okay, Missy Bat. Uh, it's going to be all right. We're going to get it in with the lights and water still running. Lights coming back on. I'm just saying. Missy Thank Bat. you, Miss Mary. Missy Bat. Give us a snap. You don't no, want to give us no snap. I ain't giving us yeah, no snap. Yeah, that's right. First of all, Missy We're going to make it. You done had us yeah. under the bridge. You going to make it. Now you got it. us in here fucking gonna, with no power. You going to make it. No water. How you going to wash your ass? You going to make it. I cannot. You going to make it. No. You going to make it. We going to make it. Let me tell you one thing I did, Ron. In, in our trying times early on in our marriage, we had a discussion because I came into marriage looking at it differently. Right? My expectations were totally different. Um, and I think when we hit hard times because my expectations were so different and so uh, not, it, it was, I guess, so dated to the point where it caused a lot of issues in our marriage. And for me now, looking back on those situations, like I told you, I would not be close off to intimacy with you, but I would also want you to respect the fact that we're going through something and be open to us getting through that and then becoming intimate or at least allowing us to come up with a solution to the problem before we become intimate. So, I mean, we've had lots of conversations about stuff like this. I promise you. Um, hey, Kel, some men are afraid of marriage because they are too lazy to make it work. It's easy to just walk away and not fix it with no with no ties. It takes mute, uh, maturity to make marriage work on both sides. God damn it, Kevin. That's you right. came on in with it. That's, That's true. right. So you think it's laziness on the men's part because yeah. they don't want to make it work with the woman that they actually did love. Yep. Mm. All right. I like that, Kevin. Yeah, I like that. What's up, Sherry? Um, so, and then Monique says, sometimes you have men that's afraid of what their homeboys might say. Yes, yep. I always say that. That's yep. that's always a big deal. Yep. Uh, can you pull me some more whites? Yep. I can care less what they say about I, me. I always say that. That is always a big deal because men are so afraid of what other men may think of them. Yep. Opening doors, buckling shoe straps. You know, I, I do it all. All of that stuff. Like, when you do that, I do like, it all. Like it's weak. But guess what? <laughs> She's I, sleep, so cute. I sleep good at night. Missy bitch, my we gonna make it. Okay, Amy said, but you have to remember, most women bear a lot of the responsibilities of the household. In some cases, the women, the woman is. Um, oh wait, wait, wait! I need to read all this. She said the woman is the superwoman, and then she got to be the sex toy. Men do get complacent too, and should do most of the things in the beginning to keep her motivated. Trust a woman will find the strength to make the man she loves happy. Hmm. Uh, that's true. That's true. true. All right. That was a that was a good and, read. And, and see, that's the thing about it is, like Miss Lacreme was thinking early in the marriage, it was dated. Same thing now, where these men think, oh well, shit, my mother need to come home and cook. She need to take care of the children. I don't need to do none of that shit. And then she need to go back in the room, bend over, let me get me some, and go to sleep. No, motherfucker, you don't do that. You share the stuff with your wife. Whatever. This one, no. If Cooper didn't get a pepper change sometimes, he'd be walking around with his pepper just sagging down there. I ain't gonna do my baby like that. <laughs> but I don't be changing pampers. <laughs> she I don't. Mean, I don't. And, and I will say this. He he takes care of Cooper 
97% of the time as far as those things, you know. If he's not here, then I'm doing it. But we have our but things. But don't make it seem like yeah, no, I'm yeah, not going to yeah. take care of it. We don't have our that. things. Like, if it wasn't for her, he wouldn't eat. Because, I didn't, hell, I forget about the bottle half of the damn time. But she made sure he got bottles. I make sure he's fed. He's taken care of. So, we're good on that part. We just have shared roles. Yes. She said, let me go to the room so Daryl can hear this. <laughs> uh, Anthony say, I'm on the cream on this one. I have to figure out how to get these lights back on. Damn sex, when I get married... Um, I promise to be a protecting provider. I'm failing if my lights about to go get turned off. That's what I'm saying. Give me a minute to process this shit and do what I can do to try and get this shit working again. And then once we get this shit working again, then we can talk about it. Well, I can't think. And, but see, you—it's like the blood in your dick is not like letting it come yeah. up here, so well, you like can't like, focus. Like you said, let me, let me. I'm stressed right now. You know why? <laughs> She's stressed because she worried about how they gonna get cut back on. First of all, if the light's going to be off and you ain't got no money, nothing else, it ain't nothing but one or two things you're going to do. Ask your parents. Period. Okay. Well, if your parents are If it's 9 o'clock at night. If your parents I, are deceased. If it, if it, we ain't talking about, I'm talking about my scenario. Oh, okay, okay. Your parents, if it's 9 o'clock at night, that means they might have, don't want to hear about this in the morning. You got to call them in the morning where it's up in the early. So might as well go ahead and let us get this in tonight. Call the parents and say, hey, our light's going to be off at 11 o'clock. We need to help. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> so let's fuck I'm giving all you night. Some, I'm giving you some scenarios. Let's fuck you, all you, night. Hell, you, you just asked me to, to fix the problem. Hell, I fixed it. No, you said fuck all night Shit. and call and ask for help in the morning. Hell, what the hell? <laughs> I'm not, I, I just, I don't know. Shit, ain't like What's up, Renee? It's, it's an all night check cashing place that's open that we can go get some money from. I can't. Tell me, I say it louder. Tell my Kevin, say men that worry about the other men. What that? Excuse me, men that worry about what other men have to say, the real and the view every day. They watch the real and the view every day. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Luanda? Oh, Tiff, you, I mean, Kevin, you stupid. Uh, Monique say, Donna, what would you say about some men that's afraid of responsibility and commitment? Mm, they pieces of shit. Well, let's let's give a a, a great explanation of that. Okay. Okay. Without just throwing your forward piece of shit opinion. Give us. And somebody may call me a piece of shit. And if that's what you feel, go ahead and make your live and call me a piece of shit. I'll take it. I'll take it. But we're not talking about you. Yeah, she asked your question. Um, I mean. Well, tell us. Give us some more details. She's yeah. saying men that's afraid of responsibility and commitment. Um, okay. Well, the responsibility part of it, I guess, is where we want to start with. What is it that he's actually scared of being responsible for? Is it his household duties? Uh, is the commitment issue? Is that him stepping out on the marriage? Bring us up to speed so we can kind of get is a it, good idea. Yeah, is it a commitment issue that she has a child already and you... Yeah, so we yeah, need to understand you know, what the commitment be, issue you know, is yeah. and then what the responsibilities he's lacking. And I think we can answer, or he can answer it a little bit better. Um, Till says, I don't have parents. See, that's what I was saying. Yeah. If you don't have parents, if you don't have nobody to call, that's not an option. So, no, I can't go fuck tonight because I can't call uh, my mom in the morning. All right, Till, give, give me an example then. What's up, Marco? She, uh, Amy said, fuck that. My lights will always be on. My grandmother taught me different. We never worried about that. That's you. That's that, you. That, that's right. And, 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 and let, everybody and, ain't the same. And let me also say this too, Amy. You never know what may happen. Yeah, exactly. You never, never know. know. You never know. I never thought mine would be near being turned off either. <laughs> but I'd have been there. And I never, ever thought that. And I was taught the same way. But you just never know what may happen. So, you know. And, and and people, you know, people are saying that, you know, not nothing against Amy and Tiff. Well, she made, but, but no, both, but no, both Tiff didn't say anything. She just said, what if you don't have having a parent? Yeah. And but, Amy but, said but, that would never be her situation. And but, I'm just saying, but, you don't know. But both of them have what? Who? Both of them have what? I don't know. Both of them have what? Who? Tiff and Amy. What they have? A degree. A job. Oh, a job. They fall back on all the time. Okay. Okay. We didn't have that. Remember? Okay, got you. Okay, so we don't I, have that. All right. Okay, so let's shake it up. We don't have right, that. We're entrepreneurs. We don't have that. So you're right, and so that was that was the downfall for us because there was no job. We were working off of what was coming in from our business. So absolutely. Ah. Okay. Now I'm I'm, I'm shaking. Cause we gonna be just like the people, the man on Amazon. We are gonna be living in our garage doing that shit, and then when we hit big, I don't want none of y'all be talking about. <laughs> Hey, they, I know them people. They're my foes. Don't, um, don't fucking talk to me. I can't. I can't. What's up, Michael? Okay. What's up, uh, Condry? What? Okay, yes. 
Miss Polk. All right. Wait, stop. Women too. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, you bet said Donald. They bet not. Nothing negative about you. I got them 504 for y'all day. <laughs> Five ways a man has to keep a woman's interest. Let's hear it. All right. He did. Uh oh. Okay, one. Spirit. Get that damn school teacher off your wall. Like, shit. I love it. I love it. He says, We're going to be on here until 5 o'clock. We ain't got time. Wait, wait, spiritually. She can't get everybody ready for church while you sitting up watching NFL Countdown. True. Financially, secure your mind with everyday finances, especially with children involved. A man don't have to take care of his family. Excuse me. A man that don't take care of his family is worse than an infidel. That's scripture. Emotionally, talk to her um, and be her gossip partner in bed. Well, we got <laughs> all these down. Pillow talk, Kim. Mentally, you still have to have date night just because give spontaneous actions in order to keep her from being bored. Yes, I agree with all this, goddamn it, Kevin. God damn it. Y'all need to uh, uh, copy and paste this. Then physically, um, will happen for, excuse me, then physically, I guess he wants to say so it will happen yeah, for her. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And I agree. And like I used to always tell you, what I used to always tell you. It's in the action. So you you make me want to have sex with you. The things that you do make me want you. You know what I'm saying? It's that spontaneous behavior. It's the little cards. It's the little messages. It's the little gifts. It's that, ooh, I'm hot for you right now. What, did I give you one the other day? What you gave me? See, that she done, she done she done forgot. That. What you yeah. gave me? Nail shop. Do I have to remind you? See, Kel, we give them shit and they don't even remember. Oh, shit, y'all. He See, gave me a card. See what I'm talking about? You do so much for them. Look at it was so Golly. sweet, baby. Give me a kiss again. You need to show your leg. I do? Yeah. They're a little prickly down there. Oh, they are. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay. That is totally off topic. Um, and he just going to expose me and shit. Um, but, Kel, I, I'm totally for it. I agree, Kel. All 100%. that's good. Yeah. All that's good. Andrea, what's up? Lakita said, hey, no. Hey, girl. Uh, Amy said, y'all need to watch Sylvie's Love. We, are, we, we already did. About, we talked about Sylvie's Love last, last week. week. Where Amy, was you, you at, you Amy? Missed it. You probably was partying somewhere, shit. What's up, Crystal? What's up, boo? Monique, all of the above, LaCream just mentioned, but most of all when you're in a relationship, yes. Um, Amy, I'm speaking if we are fucking, we are able to... We are able-bodied. The bills come first. Okay, got you. Uh, Missy Bess is period. All right. What's up, Thomas? Um, you down right, Donald. Todd got stuff. She forgot. Oh, Tiff. I think he said <laughs> yeah. got stuff. Forgot about Forgot about it. Hey, we be forgetting. <laughs> we be forgetting shit. Life is moving. Hell, we be forgetting. You bought me that? Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. We, we be forgetting. I'm for real. Charge the tower. Uh, don't charge the tower hard. Charge the tower mind. Yeah, we be busy. whatever. We be <laughs> Mm -mm. She she don't remember the card, but I bet she remember that bridge. 